All right, folks, we are back uh, here on Nitro Disco Inferno, currently in control of the match, laying on some of that heavy offense, hoping to get out of here with that TV title. But we're getting very close to the uh, time limit here. We'll see if that uh, changes the strategy of any of these uh, two warriors in there right now. Disco Inferno. It's a Booker T, stalling suplex, very nice. These 10 minute time limits on the TV title matches often make for uh, a very interesting uh, type situation. We see people going for high impact offense that they might otherwise not go for, or uh, in the case of the champion at the time, just going ahead and sit back a bit. Booker T knocked out, slow to get in. Oh. This going for a locks him up. Suplex inside. This goes got to be looking for that victory soon. He's going to have to hurry. I don't know how much time we have left, but certainly not much. This going for a swing. Booker T gets back to his feet. This going for a oof. This going for a His punch is blocked. Booker T lays right in there with that Harlem sidekick. Almost decapitated with that one. Coming in with a back elbow. Locks up. Up for a suplex. Up and down. Mark. Booker T back on the offense. Gut run suplex. Takes him over. Going for that pin right there. He's on the rope. Rope break right there. Another suplex out of Booker T. Booker T staying on the attack. Staying close. There's a Harlem sidekick again. Booker T goes down for the pin. Ah, once again. On the rope. Back elbow. Another pin. No, no good. That won't wash it. Booker T again. Power slam. Down for the pin. One and two. But not enough. We are, we're getting within now. We're getting very close. Very close. I've just been told we're within one minute. Disco Inferno goes to the pin. One, two. Oh, just a hair's breadth away. I'm told we are very, very close to time limit within one minute. Uh, that has been announced to our crowd here. And, uh, ooh, flying forearm. Booker T goes for the pin. One. No. Disco Inferno's out quick. Wants to save that title. Ooh. Big clothesline there for Disco Inferno. Disco Inferno hooks the leg. One, two, and no. Oh, so close. So close. Trading back and forth. Both of these uh, competitors would like a convincing pinfall victory. And one count there. This go for a getting out quick. Throws him into the corner. Back elbow. Very nice. Oh, schoolboys him. One. No, only a one count on that schoolboy right there. Harlem sidekick. And Booker T's going to pick him up. Put a little more offense on there before uh, bringing this match home. A couple of elbows in the corner. Disco Inferno, maybe in the last few minutes of his title reign. We'll have to see. Disco Inferno picks him up. Throws him into the ropes with an Irish whip. Oof, an elbow. Got to be very careful. Don't want to, oh, a rope break on that. That elbow might have got him, but he was already in the ropes. You got to be very careful here because uh, knocking him out of the ring could be a, uh, a bad turn of events. Reversal into a, a big right hand. Big, big right hand. Let's go for another. Oh, side kick reversal. Stevie, or, uh, 
Booker T really pushing it on. I tell you, so used to seeing them in tag team action. Sits him in the corner. What is this? He perches him up top. Could it be a superplex? A super Samoan drop. But this Disco somehow able to get to his feet. Snapmares him over the corner. Uh oh. Booker T setting up for uh, I think what we all know. It could be the axe kick. Disco keeps coming. But uh, Booker T keeps kicking him away. Here it is. Kick to the stomach. Down comes the axe. Axe kick. That's got to be it, folks. There's the bell. Uh, it seems like the time limit has expired, folks. So a draw for this match. Uh, we can be sure these two great superstars will face each other in the near future. For now, back to you, Tony. Tony, this is Terrence Powderly back uh, with this match here. Jekyll versus Goldberg. Jekyll laying in with some right hands on Goldberg. Goldberg not having a lot of offense just yet. Uncharacteristic move versus a judo style takedown there. And now Goldberg's going on the offensive. You know, I haven't seen a lot of men come down the pike with the kind of power, speed, intensity, and just uh, sheer. Uh, I don't want to say brutality, but uh, he puts a lot of oomph into his moves. Hooks both arms into a uh, modified belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Very nice. Goldberg pressing the big Jekyll's overset. That's 275 pounds, but just drops him like a sack of potatoes. Not finished yet. He's still on the attack. Ooh, clothesline. That was a brutal close. I'm surprised Jekyll can even get up. This Goldberg, he really is something. Uh, ever since making his de debut a few months ago, he's been undefeated, coming off a big win against uh, Steve McMichael. Goldberg, Ooh, rolling submission, hold. wrenching the leg. Goldberg showing you that uh, he's a big, strong, powerful guy with the kick wrestlers. Goldberg going up top. Now he's laying in those fists. Just bouncing his fist off Jekyll's skull. And puts him right down on the ground. What's this? Goldberg's backing up. Backing up just a bit. Seems to be kind of waiting there. Lying in wait. Goes for it. Spear! Goldberg spears. Jekyll's, we know what comes next. We know exactly what move Goldberg's up to. Uh-oh. He's got Jekyll. Hooks him in that suplex-type position. Holding him straight up, high in the air. Look at that. Just holding him effortlessly. Like a piece of paper. Comes down hard. One, two, and three. A big win for Goldberg. Back to you, Tony. Thank <laughs> you.